I'm here today not just to directly refute the allegation of Mr. Ramon Tulfo that I am the head of the syndicate of the so-called Bastille scheme, but to prove that this accusation is utterly devoid of basis and served nothing but to malign me and besmirch my reputation. Mr. Tulfo's imputation is fueled by personal vendetta and dirty politics. Similarly, not an iota of evidence was presented during the previous hearings conducted by this committee linking me to the Pastilla scheme. Even Mr. Allison Chong, the alleged whistleblower, never once mentioned my name in the entire proceedings. It was only Mr. Tulfo who repeatedly mentioned my name sans any concrete evidence. Being friends, I handled the criminal cases of Tulfo against the spouses Raymond Santiago and Claudine Barreto, when the latter mauled Ginul Pipuyan no Magasawa at the at the former at, at the airport. I represented Tulfo gratis in et amore. Ganyan po kagandang tumanaw ng utang na loob yung Tulfo na yan. However, the said friendship went sour when I as then SOJ did not grant his request for the consolidation of more than 90 cases filed against him by the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Quoted here under is the exact text sent to me by Tulfo on August 16, 2017. Bit, that is uh, how Tulfo called me, Vitaliano, the first three letters. Bit, please act on my petition to consolidate all my libel cases filed by INC. More cases are being filed in other parts. By the way, Mayor Ojeda, your cousin, is sending his regard. He is threatening me by using my cousin, Mayor Ojeda, who is his friend. But the reason, why, the reason I'm asking you for the consolidation of all my libel cases is that I have been going to different fiscal office in Metro Manila lately. Yesterday, I went to Paranaque Fiscal. The day before that, in Las Piñas. Last week, in Makati and Paranaque. Tomorrow, I'll be answering a summons from the Quezon City Fiscal. If you could only have all these cases consolidated us up, I may be saved all the trouble. It is not too much to ask since it is a legitimate request. Your reason that you can't dictate on the NPS is flimsy. I wasn't born yesterday, bit. However, I can understand if you are receiving pressure from the INC since it has been bruited about that you are running for the Senate. Come on, Vit, I'm telling you all this because I still consider you my friend, even if you no longer consider me yours. These undisputed facts attest to my innocence of the malicious imputation of Mr. Tulfo. I have been a member of the bar for 48 years of good standing. I have no derogatory records. I graduated valedictorian from the Sambeda College of Law. In short, my reputation as well as my family's good name is at stake here. I therefore challenge Mr. Tulfo, if you have brave enough and you have the goods, file the corresponding case and face me before the proper forum. You have absolutely no right to use this August body to malign and discredit me or bring dishonor to my family. <laughs>